What's up guys? Thanks for stepping back by the channel today. We've got a special little thing going on. Um, we're gonna do a new style segment for you guys today. I know you guys are used to sh me showing you my snap-on toolbox and a lot of my snap-on tools, but a lot of different companies and myself have gone on to Amazon quite often, and we are looking for tools that are both cost-effective and that actually get the job done. So in working with a couple of different companies and some of the stuff that I've purchased myself off of Amazon, we're going to be doing an Amazon tool review day. We might do this every you know month or so, but I've picked up four or five tools from Amazon over the last uh, month or two, and we're gonna do a review on those. And through those different sites, they're gonna give us some of their discount codes that I can help you guys out on as well. Stay tuned. So I know I love tools and I know you guys love tools. So today we're doing more tools, but we're doing ones that we can get a more affordable price range. We love our Snap-on, always, always love our Snap-on. But we've got some stuff that will do the job and the stuff that I use on the job that we can get at a better price and they're on Amazon. Amazon, as everyone knows, is like the big conglomerate. They can get you anything you want. Amazon Prime, two day shipping. I'm an Amazon whore at it, I'll admit it. I'll be the first one to say that. I love the two day shipping and the stuff comes right to my door. I'm lazy. Well, that's just the way it is. So I got five things that I've gotten off Amazon in the last you know, couple weeks to a month. Might have seen once or one or two of these on a previous video, but I wanted to go in depth a little bit more on it and where and how I got them. So the first thing I come to is gonna be my Lyle tool. It is a part number 64970. It is the battery drain tester. How it works, these two leads, you disconnect the negative battery post off of a battery, connect one to the battery, one to the cable, have it sitting there, and then that will complete the circuit in the off mode, just how it is. If anybody's ever tested for a battery drain, they know that the worst thing that we can do, especially to our meters that are hooked up to them, is then connect the battery back down with our clamp and it actually spikes the battery system up so high if anything's on or if the door's open it'll blow the fuse in our meter which is like a $30 fuse anymore of course. So this will reduce the risk of doing that. Connect these and it connects the circuit already with the cable ends. These are plugged into your meter on the amperage and the ground ports. Then all you have to do is flip the one switch and then it will put that amperage from the vehicle going through this back into the vehicle to going through the amperage portion of your meter without having that amperage spike and without having to wait that extra two to five minutes for everything in the vehicle to go to sleep. Saves you time, saves you the headache of accidentally blowing fuses on your meters. This one also does have two inline fuses. They're just 10 amp small blade fuses. Saves your meter, saves you headaches. It's really good. This tool is $22.12 on Amazon. I will put the link to all of these down below when I post the video. Uh, great tool, you guys should get that one. Next one is going to be a set of relay puller pliers. Anybody who's ever pulled a relay out of a fuse box knows the headache of this one. These are by ABN and how they work is they've got really tiny, we'll get you a little close up here, They've got little tiny fingers that are able to get in between the relays and the fuses. So if you try to use, just say, a normal set of pliers, as compared to these, the normal set of pliers are like four times as thick and they don't get in between them. If there's a bunch of relays that are piled all together, it will not get in between those relays to be able to get them out. This will fit in between all the tiny little, you know, the really closely packed together relays to be able to pull those relays out. It fits uh, probably 90% of the relays that there are. There's some of the, you know, weird shaped one or the giant ones that won't fit. But 
they will do the job and they'll save you from having to have headaches, breaking relays, breaking fuses with trying to get a regular set of pliers, especially if they're melted in there, you got a PDC issue. This will help to get those out. These are also available again on Amazon for $13.19. Amazon Prime as well. Amazon Horror, two day shipping. Good tool to have. Make sure you get that one. Next one is my Wilton Hammer. I've gone through um, one of these before. I didn't break it, but it was stolen. So, go on, I've got this one. It is a four pound, 12 inch hammer. These things have their dedicated unbreakable handle and if you guys see any of their marketing videos they run these things over with semis with giant trucks they try to freaking hacksaw them and they don't break you'll never break a Wilton hammer if you do send me the video because it really needs to be on YouTube we'll have to see that one but this one is like I said the four pound hammer with a 12 inch handle this one is available on Amazon Prime as well for $37.61 if you're going to have a really good hammer in your box, it should be one of these Wilton hammers. They're heavy duty pieces of machinery. So there's that one. Next one is going to be by a company called Handyman. Mag they've got magnetic wristbands. There are a couple of different ones that we've got, a uh, little bit smaller ones and a little bit bigger ones. For the guys who do especially like transmission or dash work, you've got a million little screws that you have to pull out. All these little screws, they're, you know, if I'm doing a valve body, they're all different sizes, so I need to keep track of them. This thing will go along on my wrist or my arm and just Velcros right into place. And it has magnets all the way around at least three fourths of this uh, wristband. These magnets are very strong, they're able to hold pliers, able to hold really heavy things and they're sectioned off. There's there's magnets and then there's a divider section, magnets, divider section around here so you can keep them separate from everything as well. So if you've got that valve body that has 32 screws and they're two different sizes, I'll keep the one size here and the one size is right here as I'm going on. These do have a really good, nice protective coating. So even if you get transmission fluid or something like that on them, they clean off really well. They seem to work amazing they hold up over time so over on Amazon by handyman their magnetic wristbands you can get the larger one pack uh, this one is nine dollars and ninety nine cents is also Amazon Prime and then you got a two pack they're a little bit smaller they I mean they'll still fit on my arm but they're just they've got a little bit less surface area to work with on them but also the same high quality amount and these are $14.99 with Amazon Prime as well. This company was nice enough to uh, throw me a deal for you guys also. They're going to give us 20% off these items. For the one pack, the larger band, this one is going to be 20% off with code 6HLJCM6L. I know that's a lot of stuff to remember, but I will put it down in the description also along with the link for it. And then the two pack also, original price is $14.99. They're going to give you 20% off also. Uh, the code on that one is N2OHPUBF. I will put that one down in the description below. Really great for doing dash jobs or anything where you have a whole bunch of screws that you're having to work with. The last one on the list is going to be a company from a company called Top Don. Uh, they have their Art to Battery, which is their battery tester kit. Uh, guys who are in shops, you know that the bigger battery testers that we have usually run on the low side of like seven to eight hundred dollars. Those battery testers, they do awesome. They do a whole lot of things. They're really quick about what they do, but they cost a lot of freaking money. So I would like to have one where I can just go out and test a battery real fast and not have to worry about it. So this is going to be the one to do that. This one, it runs for $53.99 with Amazon Prime. Uh, the company said they're also going to be giving me a uh, discount code for this one. I'll put it down in the description when I get to get it. They have not given it to me quite yet, but they will do it. I'm going to give this one a test real quick. I'll show you guys how well this one works on an actual battery. So I've got me a 2015 Chevy conversion van to work with to test this one out. 
the clamps are a really nice size. They've got a lot of good spring pressure. They're a smaller size, so they're able to fit on the smaller side post batteries, the screws that are on those. So we'll hook those up respectively, positive to positive, negative to negative, and then it will turn on. We will hit the OK button. English, because we're English. And it's going to ask you whether you're testing it in the vehicle or out of the vehicle. We have it hooked up, so it is in the vehicle. I have not charged this battery yet, so you can choose before or after you charge the battery. A regular flooded, it does AGM, it does spiral, you know, all the different kinds of batteries. It's able to test those. Hit OK on the regular flooded. Cold cranking amps, we're going to test it at that. This one is rated at 770 cold cranking amps. Put that one in there. Hit that, it says testing, and it's going to give us a whole readout of a whole lot of different things. We have the state of health is 97%, state of charge is only 38%, so that's why it says good, but the battery does need recharged. Test it at 12.22 volts at 690 amps. So this thing gives you a whole lot of information, does it very quick for a really cheap price. I know our Midtronics tester here in the shop cost us right around $795 to get, which is kind of insane. So this one at the price of $53.99 on Amazon is really awesome. It's really good to be able to have in your car. You know, you get your buddy, hey, I got a junk battery. Let's see if we need that one tested. This will test it really quick for you. It's really easy to use. You could hand it to somebody, say, here, you could figure it out it's easy to use. Like I said, I will be getting a coupon code from them. It'll be at least 10% off and I'll put it down in the description when I get that one. So there's the Top Don battery tester. That's all the tools and reviews I've got for you today, guys. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Things have been super busy and definitely on the uphill swing for us. We've been doing a really awesome job trying to get you guys some awesome content. We've gone with a couple of companies that have been able to help bring us things like this to show you. I've been working a whole lot on my Duramax truck, so if you guys have been tuned in for that build, stay tuned. It's gotten absolutely huge. It's going to be an amazing build. We're going to be doing stuff with Truckmaster on the 15th of September. We've got that truck meet up in Michigan. If you guys haven't heard about that one and you would like to be in that or like to come and see us there, check out Truckmaster's channel up here. He's got the information. It's going to be September 15th up in Michigan. If you guys haven't checked me out over on Instagram yet, my following is growing quite a bit there, so go check me out there. I've got an Instagram page. I've got a Facebook page as well over at Rust Belt Mechanic or The Rust Belt Mechanic on uh, Facebook. Pretty easy to find in those aspects. If you guys ever want to send me any questions or ask me to review something for you, something that I have, you can either get a hold of me on Instagram or you can email me at therustbeltmechanic at gmail.com. Last week I did the video on the top five, ho five household tools. I also said I was doing a giveaway for one of the air pumps that I debuted in one of those. And I went through the comments. I really liked what you guys had to say in those. My favorite one is going to have to go to Don Clark. You had the right mix of tools and a little bit of comedy in with it too. So send me your information over on Instagram or e email that to me and I will get that sent out to you for being the winner of it as well. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers. Big thank you to all of my subscribers. I never thought this channel was going to get to something that big. It's something that's humbling and it's something that really makes me enjoy what I'm doing and helping you guys out, showing you guys these cool videos. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. I appreciate what you do. As always, you stay awesome. Tune in for the next one.